I'll get you a tail. What does it mean to Melbourne? Oh, winter in Melbourne is great. Sure, yeah. No, it is. It's the best time. You can wear all these clothes at once. We need to do more than three gigs, I reckon. Can't we get any more? Well, Brian says he's trying. I don't know. The whole thing's a bit sus. Well, surely the agency will cover it. Nah, they'll take their commission, oh, though. Yeah. And I don't think we'll have enough to cover costs. Mm. Maybe we shouldn't risk it. George, oh, we're going. I've never been there before. Ah! Oh! Check out my back lava. <laughs> you look like a gorilla. <laughs> oh! Call me a gorilla. Chip. Oh. Uh, could we stand over here first? Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. Um, Chrissy? Yeah, yeah, but we didn't imagine. Mm -hmm. uh. yeah. I'm okay. So what? Right. Come on. George, can't we, can't we do more than three gigs? Look, I'll get the extra gigs. I'll tell them we won't go unless we get them, okay? Atta boy, George. Uh, could you stand a bit closer there, Tiger? Now, they said they wanted head and shoulder shots. No, next. <laughs> I think you'd look better without the balaclava. No, I think you'd look better. Uh, you're oh. the singer? Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, yes. Could we have you down the front, please? No, I'm not the front person. Great. A real novelty shot, huh? The chick singer up front. Well, I'm just doing what they asked me to do, and they're paying, okay? Well, I just don't want to do it that way, okay? Let's just get it over and done with now, and we'll do some more later. Right, come on, let's do it. Great. Hey, can somebody lend me some warm clothes from Melbourne? Well, I've never even been past Wollongong. Where's Wollongong? Hey, Lyle. Lyle. Want to do that clip? Hmm? That country and western song. You still want to do that? Sure. Cool. Yeah, I'd like to get something happening that I've got control over, you know. Fair enough, mate. I thought I'd just um, record it and do a video first and then do it with a band later. Well, what about Carol and Christine? Uh, I reckon Carol's going to leave pretty soon. <laughs> if she does, that's it. No, I don't know about that, mate. Well, I should do this stuff anyway. Always wanted to. I thought you were just, just going to do a recording thing. Things change, don't they? You know, with bands, you barely get the things happening and they just fall apart. Oh, don't rush it into the grave, mate. I mean, we'll do the clip, that's no sweat. The takeaways are doing really well at the moment. Don't push it. I'm not. Hey, well, last one. Nick. Watch your pretty little head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Uh, Carol, uh, that's it. my seat. No, it's not. Okay, mate. Move over. Come on. Good. Good. I get car sick. So do I. Well, I bet I get sick. Right, Jeff. I'll look after Nina. You look after them. Okay. On oh, George. George. Oh, uh, look. Um. Here's another. Five dollars. All right. Don't thank me. It's all right. Okay. See you, kids. Have a good time. See ya.
of the drawing? Anyone? Sleep. I will wake them up. I'll be right. Yeah. Um, hi. I'm George Polopoulos. We're with the takeaways. We're booked in for five days. Thick and fast. The agency booked us in. No, mate. Must be a mistake. No, what? We're full, mate. No one booked you in. Oh, George, this is an old one. Well, I can do is one room, mate. Fine. We'll, we'll take it. It's only got two beds. Who cares? gets out of bed or out of this. Doesn't this hotel have any eating? Oh, are you kidding? Mm. Hey, have some pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, the University FM station wants to do an interview with Carol Plus One. Oh. No, why me? Because they know that you're from Melbourne, of course. Oh, you think they want to talk to someone who's not from Melbourne? Oh, you should go, Mark. Nah, nah. Why don't you take Johnny? He's always got something to say. Oh, get off, man. It's not my idea. I'm not going, George. You have to. Why? And there's a sound chick later on at the venue. The car leaves in ten minutes. Oh, great. OK, that was uh, Kids in the Kitchen with Change of Mood, a big group in 1983. We've got a demo tape here from a group called, from Sydney called The Takeaways, and we've got the lead singer, Carol. How do you do? Thank you. Why The Takeaways? Because uh, we were having dinner at the time, and The Takeaways sounded better than pork buns or dim sims. Mm. Uh, no, I mean, well... Uh, Jimmy Johnny's saying a lot, isn't he? It's disposable. It's Turn like, it off. Oh, we don't want to take us. What's with you, Martin? What's up with you and Carol? Look, she can't help it if she's being singled oh, out. She loves it. And she wants it. She does not. Look, it's just the way things work out. We'd be a girl. Oh, God, she's so singled out that they don't even realise she's got a band. Oh, come on, Martin. Nah, look, I've, I'm sick of this. I've seen it too many times. Might go and make a country and western record. And leave the band? No, no, just record a song and do a clip with Daryl. Does Daryl know? Yeah. He offered. It was his idea. Hey, listen, would you be in a country thing if it happened? Yeah, sure. Sure? Yeah. I just rang up the venue. The PA hasn't arrived. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Did you speak to them from Sydney? No. Oh, why not? George, the come agency on. said that they had it lined up. Yeah, like the hotel rooms, huh? George, don't you realise never leave anything to the agency? Don't you know that?
Well, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news is that we're going home. Now? Yep, tonight. Why? The fourth shot's been blown down. Oh, I bet it wasn't there in the first place. How did this happen? I rang up. They, they'd never even heard of us. What's the bad news? Um, well, that's it. And, and there's no money. We're, we're stuffed. Oh, those pigs. I stuffed up too. I don't know how I went along with it. George, I certainly hope you've got enough to get home. Oh, yes, I, I did save enough money for petrol, OK? Mm. Well, that's just as well. Do we get paid tonight? Um, the agency gets it on Monday, but we'll only get commission. They'll take commission. Oh, great, great. Yeah, the brakes, I guess. I know, where are you going? Give us a break, George. Get off my back. And we're not much help, Martin. What did I do? Nothing, you just do it. Martin, what about the rest of the stuff? George, you stuff up, you lug out. Are you going home? Yeah, yeah, I thought I would. Don't you want to come over for some tea? No, um, I just might go home, okay? I've hardly seen you all day. <laughs> George, we haven't been out of each other's sight for a week. Don't you need a break? No. Well, I do. How much of a break? I don't know. I, I can't answer that now. You see Martin today? It's got nothing to do with Martin. Has he said anything more? More about what? About leaving the bed and you going no, with him. No, he hasn't. <sighs> yeah. oh. Everyone's acting very strange lately. Yeah. yeah. Mate. You're not the only band to lose money on their first interstate trip. Finish the clip. Which one? Well, Moon and Stars, the B-side. Oh, uh, just in time, posthumous clip. I thought it might have been Martin's. Does Martin have a clip? Oh, you're making one with him, aren't you? Well, we're talking about it. So what? So wouldn't you leave the band alone? Go and build your video empire somewhere else. George, it's got nothing to do with the band. People make solo clips all the time. You're breaking the band up. George, you need a rest, mate. You've got it all around the wrong way. The band may be breaking itself up. Yeah. Helped along by smart Alex like you. And for your cut. Creep. Well, they've all gone mad. Did I blow it? They promised me. We should have never listened to Kowalski. He doesn't know how things are now. He yeah, well, he knows more than we do. He doesn't. Maybe about how things used to be done. Not even that. No, no posters, no hotel rooms, no gigs. Well, I thought he had more pull with those Melbourne guys. Look at that. They take money out for posters and we don't even see any. Yeah. Well, according to this, we're down $350. Oh. Hmm. What about the single? It stopped selling. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No second pressing? We haven't got rid of the first yet, look. How many did we sell? 
356. Is that all? Mm. Yeah. Kowalski wants us to do Brisbane. You're kidding. He reckons we'll make up the loss there. Yeah, sure. No way, he just wants his 10% off the top. He reckons we'll do well there. Nick, when are you going to stop listening to that guy? He doesn't care about the band's finances. He's got enough trouble floating his own, you know? Ah, oh, they're all the same. Yeah. Well, maybe we're not together enough. We're not. That's why we've got to think small. I mean, those guys just eat us for dinner, and we think they're dumb. So what do we tell Kowalski? Time to go jump at him, son. <laughs> There's a band meeting on tonight, and I'll talk to him, and we'll see what they want. OK. Every band loses money touring. Ah, uh, not if we get people at gigs. It's not my fault the prices were enough. What about the handbills, George? You should have checked that. I did check. I rang the agency five times. Next time, I'll hitch down if you want. What next yeah. time? Isn't everyone leaving? Is everyone leaving? No, I'm not. Martin is. Oh, I thought it was you. Oh, well, that's what counts, isn't it? What you think. Do you always leave a band when things get tough? I can stick it out if it's worth it. You can't even stick it out at the end of a gig. Who needs me if you're up here? Oh, Martin, it? what do you want? Do you want to be up front? I don't hey, care. Hey, come on, come on. That's not the issue, is it? You guys have got to work out what you do want before you blow each other's that's brains out. That's time. That's what I oh. want. Me too. Yeah? Well, why did you give George the boot from the band? I left, Daryl. Why? Because you didn't think you were good enough? I mean, you guys were having a great time right up until then. So what else do you want? Do you want success? Do you want money? Do you want to be hip? What? Yeah, all of it. But eh? you can't have all of it. Look, I still think the band can work. I'm just not ready to chuck it in yet. Even if you keep getting this chick singer treatment, Carol, because you will, it's the market. I don't want it, so I can ignore it. What about you, Martin? Oh, I can ignore it too. Okay, okay, so what about all the other stuff, like, like not enough organisational support and, and money, playing to pay off your debts? I mean, it's only going to get worse. Or changing the music, making it more commercial. Oh, I'm not going to do that. We have got at least three years of this grind before anything really picks up, if we're lucky. No offence, but you guys haven't been worth a peanut under pressure so far. Well, I'll get better at it. I know I will. Oh, it is worth it. You're sure it is. Well, let's do it then. Yes, more like it. That was right. I mean, I left the band so you can get better. Not so you can chuck it in. So we're all OK, right? right. I don't think it is worth it. Oh. Daryl was right the first time. We were doing fine until George was squeezed out. Yeah, but you've been doing better since I left. Oh, from the outside, maybe, George. Look, I reckon we've been really stupid. We had something, you know, but we blew it. We tried to change it into something different. So maybe it's better musically. But we've lost the reason it was a band in the first place. What are you talking about, Martin? You're saying success is no fun. What success? Well, it can be good again. Look, are you going to handle it as well as George did when he had to step down? What? I don't mean you're going to have to. But do you see what I mean? Things as bad as this just keep happening. We had a band that worked for us, you know, but we lost it when George stepped down. We lost the real reason it was a band in the first place. Now we haven't got enough ambition to compensate. You've got to have one or the other. I think we should quit now. No, hey, hang on, that's a bit saying. steep. You should just work it out and work on. You're a good band. Let's put it to the vote. There's no point, George. A band without a heart is... It's nothing. Can't argue with that. Is that it? <coughs> oh. We've got a booking on Friday. Do you want to do a last gig? Let's have a party. <laughs>